Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will speak the, about graphics again so this is second part about the graphics and now we will switch to the realistic thing so as you know the most architects uh, want to create some uh, pop arts or for example uh, collage and uh, for that uh, things they using uh, or SketchUp or Photoshop or they combining everything but we will try to create in Revit something uh, like you can see right now so let's get start the first thing, let's uh, change our view to the realistic view, it's already a realistic view, because when we will uh, change it to the realistic view, our model will use our appearance material. So what does it mean? Let's go to the materials and first I will uh, briefly show you what the difference in materials. As you can see, in materials we have like few types. We have identity, it's all information information about your material uh, graphics one this is uh, materials what we're using uh, to the uh, type of the view I will say you know uh, like to the hidden line uh, the shadow and cast color but not for the real realistic so uh, as you understand now we no need graphics we need appearance so appearance this is a uh, real material uh, for the rendering in Revit uh, so what you will do here you will see on the realistic view so this is briefly we finish with this thing so as you can see we have the road here and we have some material default material blah 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 let's go inside this material and let's try to change it first I want to change the name I want to call it like uh, pop road why I said pop road? Because uh, I will use the not realistic uh, material, I mean the uh, image for the this road. Uh, let's go to the image. Yeah, as you can see, this is uh, for, uh, it's empty. We can open like this and choose the image. And after that, we should choose some image here. So I will change the... I will choose some view here. Uh, let's I will show you what I have there. Just a few seconds. Uh -huh, it's here and I have like few materials like this uh, for example for the road I want to use the, this material like free height blah 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 let's find it free height the rest texture let's open up and here is our material uh, to change size this material we will change it uh, right now but first I will show you what we get let's say okay and we get like a uh, brown color if you will close up you can see this is really small texture but as you know to get uh, something near uh, as I show you on the picture before uh, we need increase it increase it as not realistic so let's go to the material back uh, here is my uh, pop road. Let's go to the appearance and now just double click on the image. Just go the, uh, to the scale and let's write like 3,000, 3, let's say. No, 30,000. It will be more better. Uh, 30,000, say OK, say OK. And as you see, we get what I said, what I want. Uh, the same thing with the, for example, the grass one. Let's go to the grass and let's open up it again. Uh, appearance and now I will change the color of the grass. Uh, not, not the color, image for the grass. So I will use like this, edit image. And here the source, I will change it. Uh, let's go to the my uh, desktop here the textures somewhere here the textures and let's use the some other one let's choose what we want for example to the grass I want something like really strange abstract comic let's say that one why not because we are now trying to get something interesting so and here uh, already it's like 21,000 but I will say 24,000 it will be more than enough let's say okay let's say okay and we get something like that no that's too much uh, let's make it twice uh, smaller than we see it now I will go again to appearance double click to here and let's change it maybe to 12 12,000 let's say 12,000 let's say okay let's apply let's see what's going on here uh, it's not seamless uh, the texture it's not seamless texture but anyway anyway uh, let's say this is what we want because it's styling not right so uh, you, we, we should find something other uh, other one but anyway uh, we can uh, change it 
like this. But let's say you want uh, something new, because in this one you can see only image. But if I will create the new material, we have here the color. Now I will apply some material, so let's say this is abstract style. And now I want a uh, mix with the white color, let's say, right? So to mix it, we just should uh, decrease image fade. If you will decrease, as you can see, it's going more white and till the white. Let's do like this, let's apply, let's say OK, and let's change this material to what I did uh, just right now. So let's find it first with this material here let's say okay and as you can see we get something like that but uh the size of this really really bad so i will change the size and i will give to this material more white color like this and i'll change the size of this let's say it will be 10,000, or maybe let's make the 30,000. it will be a really huge one like this something like that why not uh, so what about uh, let's say you want to change your background so we can also change the background and make it really like a pop art let's say you already understand uh, this is what you want and now you can change the background let's go to the graphic display option and here under the background you will find the none let's change it to the image and customize image let's find the image and image will be let's say this one uh 10 10 this one let's say okay just few seconds let's wait it okay and we get something like that i want original size and want to stretch it but if you want you can stretch it you can change the uh, size of this uh image let's say okay and let's apply it and let's say again okay but as you can see, we cannot see anything. Actually, this is really small. So let's go back to the uh, graphics and we will make the stretch one because, sorry, this is was so small, I didn't see it. Let's make the stretch. Stretch, okay, and ta-ta, we get it. So, uh, as you understand, you just can able your graphic like this. After that, after that, you can render it if you want. So, uh, this is really simple. Uh, you can change, for example, for the other one background if you want, just go here and go and change it. Or you can keep this one. For example, I'm okay with that one and I want print it. Just go to the export, find here the image, with the images here under everything, images, uh, and I want just image. Uh, let's go, uh, let's say I want to uh, save it on the, my uh, desktop, let's say OK. Uh, just zoom uh, zoom to like 400% uh, percent or 300% percent. and the current window. I will change for example to the TIFF and I will change to 300 uh, raster image only the quality. Let's say OK. Just wait like a few seconds, it will generating the view and after that you will get a nice picture which you can uh, work more uh, in uh, Photoshop, for example. So uh, it's already finished or under the finish. So, okay, it's already finished. Let's open up my picture. Just a few seconds. Okay, I want to open like just with Windows Viewer. It's here. You can see it's loading, but it's really huge quality. This is actually uh, like uh, 300 mg. So as you can see, this is really huge quality. You can do everything what you want with this quality. Anyway, we get something uh, like uh, we get already like something basic uh, from the Revit, and you no need now apply it in Photoshop. But uh, uh, but if you want, of course, you can uh, you can don't use this uh, way as I show you right now, but I think this is was helpful for you. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.